just going to go over how um, I use the tensioner. Um, I'm a lefty, so I grab the tensioner in my uh, dominant hand and in my left hand. And then with my free hand, I use the thumb and middle finger to apply additional tension. And so what this does is it allows me to squeeze the tensioner using two hands. Um, so it takes the pressure off my left hand and also allows this to be more accurate. When we do the placing, I'm going to first grab the upper edge of this of the, of the box, the area that I'm going to be harvesting from, pull it towards me, and then lay the tensioner down, and then put my three fingers from the free hand in it. Okay, so let's take a look. I have assistant stretch the scalp. Um, this can be done either with one assistant putting the right hand here and the left hand here, or four corner traction. So if you have the staff, it's usually better to have two people. And so again, um, middle finger and thumb, I'm grabbing the upper edge, pulling it towards me, laying the tensioner down, taking my three fingers, putting it here. Okay, now this is important. You want to make the straps as vertical as possible. So we used to have the straps coming diagonally from the corners. Now we use the lowermost notches almost all the time and then have the upper part going vertically upward rather than out. You find that you get better tension and more stability that way. Um, I use two mastins most of the time. Um, not that much. Um, in, in his case, his scalp is relatively tight, so we're not going to need that much. But I still do it, especially in the corners, to kind of even out the feel. And also in the center, because the center has actually the least tension, because it's the furthest away from the needles. And we're ready to go.